should do flip set free, aka flip free, aka flip set free, put the girls to be, aka whatever you know me as, aka the youngest producer in the game, youngest DJ in the game, the youngest bounce rap in the game besides Baby Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Bounce me on the mean to me. Bounce me. I mean. I wasn't a fan of Bounce to maybe about 2005, 2006. But when I first, you know, start catching on to it, it mean it started meaning a lot to me at a, you know, at a young age, you know, cause me, pro me progressing to be who I am right now as, you know, as a Bounce artist, it mean a whole lot, a whole lot to me. What does Bounce music mean to New Orleans? Bounce music means everything to New Orleans because without bounce music in the clubs, people wouldn't dance how they dance, people wouldn't move how they move, you know, certain stuff females wouldn't wear what they wear, you know, if it wasn't for bounce, you know, because they, they won't hear, you know, something they could bust open to, as in Big Free the Voice, P popping, you know, you know, that was good timing. So bounce music means a whole lot to New Orleans. If you come to New Orleans, if you hear that up tempo beat, just know that's, that's, that's bounce music. That's what I'm talking about when I say bounce music. I would say uh, at, a, at a younger age who inspired me to you know become who I am, I would say Josephine Johnny, DJ Jubilee, um, Big Frida. I was raised in the mouth for me, so I was always around Katie Ray. Some, you know, Katie Ray walking in the mouth, you know, acting stupid. So, you know, a lot of that growing up with me, you know, help inspire me to be the person who I am in that bounce game. Yeah. What would New Orleans be without bounce music? I think our murder rate would be way higher than what it is right now because I think bounce music is sort of a way cool, cool down the, 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 the vibe in the club from Rowdy and, you know, from compared to Lil Wayne and the Derek Soldier Slim compared to Sissy Noble, Josephine Johnny, Big Frida, on um, you know, from dancing to violence. If you have more rap, more violence, more dance, more Big Frida, more Kitty Reed, more shaking, more people having a good time, more you know, stuff like that. So I think bounce music means a lot to New Orleans in that kind of way. And because, all right, will make us different in the sense of dancing and a bounce, you know, from other kind of from cities and stuff. Because bounce music make the girls shake, 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 you know, fast kind of shake, you know, bend over kind of shake, um, uh, move your shoulders kind of shake. And, and Atlanta, they more like lean with it, rock with it, you know, kind of the bootlegged of what we doing, you know, a bootleg version of what we, you know, creating down here. So it's different kind of, you know, on the two different pedestals of, I would say, I would choose bounce dancing over they kind of dance anyway, you know, because it's way better in my sense, you know. I would rather see a girl shake it, shake it, shake it than, you know, in a club, you know. <laughs> my work, I would say my work in bounce, my involvement in bounce, my job in bounce, I'm a triple threat because I'm beating, the, beating down the block in three different ways. DJ money, rap money, and producer money. I've been, you know, I produce tracks from artists from Kitty Black to Magnolia Wrong, from myself, from Baby Aaron, to, you know, from all sorts. I did rap bounce tracks, um, and my producer chat, and my DJ chat, and DJ it, and, you know, clubs all over New Orleans, blocks, blocks all over New Orleans, um, schools, baby showers, and as an artist in the city, I done rapped all over every club, you know. I done did my thing from, from I would say 2008 to from today. Still doing my thing as an artist. So I think, you know, beating on a bounce game, plenty, plenty kind of way. Um, I say the next generation of bounce. All right, we went from the fast tempo from now to 100 tempo. Like, you know, from that faster, faster, faster from Hut, 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 hut. Now you know that slow kind of bounce, so I would say, you know, my prediction of how to bounce, you know, would turn on the next year or so. Uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, it's getting younger. Yeah, it's getting younger. I would say it's getting younger. It's getting younger. Yeah, cause I'm used to saying, oh yeah, yeah, hey, I'm used to saying Big Free the all the artists is coming out. Now I'm saying Baby Everett. I'm saying me myself. I'm saying you know young artists have Magnolia Rome, Keita Black, and Young. You know instead of you know bounce rappers coming out in their 30s, they you know early 40s, and you know stuff like that. From Warren Mays to all of them, you know how they came out in the game old. As of now, you know, we have young bounce artists. Um, one day we was in the studio, you know what I'm saying? We was chilling, and they had a um, showboy, CJ had a La Bounce song going around New Orleans, and it, you know, was involved with a four year old babe, I think, however what she was. And she was talking on the track, and you know, and I stepped back and I thought that, you know, she wasn't really, you know, talking like as a bounce form. So um, that's when Aaron came in, you know, and I was like, a baby on a bounce song, like, you know, a real bounce song, like, you know, like a Big Frida bounce song, a Kita Ray bounce song. So I stepped up, you know, and worked with Aaron. It took us about an hour and 30 minutes, I would say, recording our wise. And she set up, bounce that booty like a basketball. Young, I know booty don't shake it out. When she laid that out, that hit me, you know, concept, bang. It came up with the, you know, the moment for life, Drake. Put that in it, everything came well and swell. And, you know, put it out, shot a pre-video of it, you know, to see why, you know, what people are thinking about it, just to put on YouTube. And, you know, the response from it, which, you know, I got, you know, a lot of thumbs up, a lot of views, you know, people in Miami, Alabama, Atlanta, Mississippi, Texas, all, you know, very commented on it, you know, about um, a baby, you know, a, 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 a baby as a bounce rapper, really, you know, have a bounce song. So that's how that came about. And from to this day forward, you know, people still playing a baby every um, bounce song around town. So. Baby Ariane, be looking out for more of her too, you know, in a video coming soon with her. I would say to the young producers, DJs, and bounce artists that's coming up now, I would say, you know, my advice to y'all is to, you know, keep it, build a grind that's consistent, um, try to work with everybody in the city just to, you know, promote your name. It's not all about the dollar, it's, you know, what it's about, it's, you know, it's, Expressing your name throughout the city, throughout the state, throughout the world. I would say, you know, just keep, well, you know, your grind is keep it consistent, you know, and be yourself and be original. Because if you know you got your own style, people are fair you more. We're from Soldier Slim, you know. It should do flip, sad, free, put them guys to be, yeah. And I want y'all to be looking out for the year here in 2012. Bounce Awards coming soon at the Mahalia Jackson Theater, New Orleans, Louisiana. Y'all be looking out for Baby Aaron coming soon. You did.